I'll cook the squash for about 20, 30 minutes at 350 in the oven. So it's easier to cut. That's a little trick. Otherwise, the acorn squash has been cooked for about 30 minutes at 350. Then I put it in here. I cut it up into pieces. And as you can see, I scooped out the seeds, which I'm going to cook with butter and salt in the oven because this is very high in, in zinc. For people concerned about COVID, you get your zinc right there in a natural way. So this gets cut up. Cut up. <laughs> wow. And now melting butter. This melted butter is going to go right over all this with some maple syrup and some cake spice. This is really delicious. And uh, pink salt, which is mislabeled as chili pepper because I don't care. So this pink salt is a mixture of pink salt and sea salt. And the cake spice, what's in it? Ah, here we go. Cinnamon, star anise, nutmeg, allspice, ginger cloves. I love this brand. Penzies has great spices. This is not a sponsor. I wish it was. And then all of this goes onto a tray, just like the cauliflower was, into the oven at a top tray. I'll put it on a high tray so it gets a little bit of crispy at probably 400. I'll do higher. Don't forget this for about 25 minutes. And see this? This is the cauliflower from earlier. Looks pretty delicious. All it has is bacon on top. I didn't even put salt or nutritional yeast, but I'm going to. And now this has been cooked at 425 on the top tray. And to get more healthy fats and zinc, I melted a little butter, which is not really necessary, and salt on these seeds. And we gotta mix them around, because as you probably know, everything gets cooked on the outside a lot faster on the inside. So we gotta mix these around.